Greetings and welcome to Northwest Missouri State University's Ron Houston Center for the, for, for the Performing Arts and the commencement exercises for winter of 2015. I'm Dr. Matt Walker, Assistant Professor and Director of the School of Communication and Mass Media. The candidates for graduation will enter the arena soon, but first I would like to introduce our musicians. You've been listening to the Bell Tower Brass Ensemble under the direction of maestro John Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brass Tower Brass Ensemble. Please stand as you are able for the presentation of flags. The members of the Missouri National Guard present today's International students who represent their classmates carry the flags of their countries. They are led by Dr. Jeff Foote, Director of International Programs and the English as a Second Language program. The platform party is led by Grand Marshal Dr. Ivo Joachim, Professor of Communication in the School of Communication and Mass Media. Being carried by student senators. 
remain standing, face the flag on the stage, and join in singing our national anthem, led by Vanessa Parsons, a summer graduate with the Master's in Music Education degree program. Welcome the President of Northwest Missouri State University, Dr. John Jasinski. Greetings, Bearcats. Good morning, Bearcats. It is a beautiful day to be a Bearcat, as is every day. What an honor it is to welcome you to Northwest's winter commencement exercises. We know that your degree candidates will finally remember this day in particular, the day in which we honor the graduating class of 2015. That's you. We honor your perseverance and success at achieving something so few actually accomplish. I offer Bearcat greetings to our graduates, family, and friends, Northwest's faculty and staff, our platform guests, our commencement speaker, Mr. Greg Gilpin, and all of those watching our ceremony. Northwest students, you've learned how to learn. You have honed your leadership skills. You've gained unique competencies relevant to assist you in pursuing workplace opportunities, furthering your education, and providing service to communities and bettering our nation and indeed the entire world. We here at Northwest Missouri State University are proud to enact our mission of focusing on student success, every student, every day. In fact, we are very proud of our success measures, whether they be retention, graduation, and certainly placement. From a graduate student perspective, we place 99% of our graduates into the workforce or for further education. Your role is pretty simple. It's been to learn, grow, challenge yourself, expand your horizons, ask questions, and indeed ask more questions. You've been discerning in the way of leading with integrity, treating others with respect, having sound reasoning, and providing facts as you address and solve issues of all types. And indeed, as Bearcats, one of our other roles is to connect. We see it every day, ladies and gentlemen, Bearcats, connect. Faculty connect with students. Alumni connect with Bearcats. Bearcats connect with other Bearcats. And I am very confident that each of you have found meaningful connections in your time here at Northwest, and I encourage you to keep connecting. No matter the road you have traveled, I encourage you to celebrate the past, but be future-focused. Be part of the solution. Be an active citizen, collaborate, network, respect each other, respect differences. In fact, I challenge you to reflect upon the societal state of race, equity, and inclusion right now. We are li living through extraordinary times. It's a wonderful time period, but we certainly have our challenges. 
We must face these directly and proceed to action. And I would ask, what will be your role in helping provide for respect and inclusion as we move forward? Before I call Mr. Greg Gilpin to the podium, please allow me to recognize a few graduates. I would be remiss to not call out two Northwest employees who sit among you today as fellow graduates. If I may ask Jeremy Baumley and Kirk Skoglin to, be, to stand and please be recognized here. Jeremy and Kirk. Congratulations. Bearcat graduating class of 2015, this ceremony is called a commencement because we celebrate not only a chapter in your life that culminates today, but also what is to begin today and what you will accomplish in the years ahead. And graduates to be your families, your loved ones have been there for you. Please help me recognize them, and families, thank you for all that you've done for our graduates. <laughs> Master's degree candidates, how about our faculty and staff? You know, I, I stand up here uh, at the commencement stage, and, and each, each commencement ceremony, I, it's amazing to me as I reflect on the work of our faculty and staff. It is incredible what they bring each and every day. Behind us are many of our faculty that are committed. Amongst us are many staff. Please, let's recognize our faculty and staff. Thank you all. And also behind me are members of our Board of Regents, the Northwest Leadership Team, Dean's Council, our Faculty Senate President, Student Senate Vice President, as well as our registrar and our state representative, Alan Andrews. Please help me thank those as well. Thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for being here. It is now my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. Greg Gilpin is a 1986 graduate of Northwest Missouri State University, having received a degree in vocal music education and published his first choral works as a senior student. Mr. Gilpin began piano lessons at age four and became an accomplished accompanist for choirs in school and his family's church while continuing his music study of piano, trumpet, French horn, and voice. By the time he arrived at Northwest, he had developed a strong knowledge of choral music and had directed a church choir for more than four years. Since 1986, his career has been musically diverse, continuing in music education as a choral arranger, composer, and private voice and piano instructor. He has served as a clinician for many middle school, high school, and all-state choral ensembles. He has worked nationally as a choreographer, studio musician, and backup singer. Today, Greg is an American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers award-winning choral composer and arranger with hundreds of publications to his credit, as well as highly respected choral conductor. He performs frequently as a singer with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra and, and with recording artist Sandy Patty. He has conducted throughout the world, including respected and historic venues such as Carnegie Hall and the Lincoln Center. Greg resides in Indianapolis and is director of educational choral pub publications for Shawnee Press Incorporated. He is a member of the American Choral Directors Association, National Association for Music Education, the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, the Screen Actors Guild, and he is a lifelong lo and loyal member of Phi Mu Alpha Symphonia. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome a Bearcat back home, Mr. Greg Gilpin. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, President Jasinski, uh, Provost Mote, and Board of Regents members, Faculty Senate President, Student Senate Vice President, Northwest Leadership Team members, and Registrar, Academic Deans, Grand Marshal, and most certainly proud and adoring parents, family, and friends. And may I be one of the first to say, 
Congratulations to this outstanding, intelligent, and incredibly good-looking class of 2015. So congratulations. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. <laughs> Commencement speeches are to inspire at a moment when the room is already incredibly electric. It's filled with inspiration and hope and anticipation, a room full of people who have spent a good portion of their lives in school, striving to reach not only a high school diploma, but a bachelor's and a master's. An incredible amount of inspiration is already here on the day you receive your diploma. My job today, I can only guess, is then to simply delay the receiving of your well-earned diploma and my sincere apologies. Hello, my name is Greg Gilpin. I'm a proud graduate of Northwest Missouri State University at a time when we did not have personal computers or cell phones. We still had books and paper and we used typewriters. Um, thank goodness for people like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and all his minions, right? And boy, has this campus changed since I graduated. What a beautiful and wonderful place Northwest continues to be. I'm very proud to be a part of this place. I realize you have no idea who I am. I realize after I speak, you still won't really know who I am or possibly even care. I get it. Truth be known, I don't remember my graduation ceremony. I don't remember who spoke. I don't remember how long it took or even receiving my diploma. Truly. It's okay, this is normal from what I've discovered, and I, nor my doctor, should be concerned at any of this memory loss, I've been told anyway. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I do remember. I do remember seeing my friends before and after the ceremony. And oh, how I remember my friends and my teachers at Northwest. It's interesting what we take in, what we retain, and we hold in our hearts, and what we remember. What was recorded in pictures then, but somehow finds its way to Facebook now, 30 years later, not so much. Don't care for that. <laughs> but the friends I made here have a deep and solid imprint on my heart, that's for sure. So I ask you to look around, take it all in, try to memorize everything, what you see, hear, feel, even touch. At this moment in time, your entire career and the bulk of your life lies ahead of you, the great unknown, a massive journey that will take a lifetime to travel and where goals will be achieved and missed or will change and friends will come and go and quite possibly return. And challenges you never thought you'd ever have to face will indeed show up at the most inopportune times. There will be incredible, life-altering, and indescribable moments of joy and happiness that will stay with you in every breath that you live. And as time passes, and indeed it does, you must want to keep learning and be able to bend, to not fear change, and adapt. Your life begins right now, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, and quite often the dazed and confused. And life will certainly get in the way of living sometimes. Take it all in. I'm sure many on this stage, and possibly some of you, have had a moment when you thought, if someone would have just told me what to expect, or if I had only known, I would have planned better or done something differently. 30 years ago, yes, 30 split second, take no prisoners, in your face, speed of light kind of years, I was sitting where you are right now, with a full head of hair, <laughs> I have pretty decent abs, and I was so happy in my accomplishment of earning my degree, relieved actually, and quite possibly my parents and friends who are sitting, I'm sure yours are sitting out there, were even more relieved and happy. 
My heart was full of emotion as I reflected upon my time at Northwest and I was completely lost in my thoughts of what my next decisions would be and where they would take me. My degree was in music education and I had many more career goals to explore and hopefully achieve using what I had learned. Of course, I figured I knew it all. I mean, I graduated from Northwest Missouri State University and I knew there were people just waiting for me to show up with all of my know-how. Yes, I discovered people were waiting, not really for me, but they were waiting, and I certainly did not know it all. So let me say this, and it's actually appropriate because Star Wars opens today, right? I remember the first one. Um, I come from the future. I come from the future to give you some practical advice that you may choose to hear, or you may choose to hear and forget, I do hope there is at least one thing I say today that you might take to heart and take with you. Perhaps years down the road, a little bell will ring on your consciousness and you'll say, oh yeah, that bald guy who I never heard of and who spoke at my commencement mentioned this might happen. Take it all in, folks. Take it all in. I arrived at Northwest in 1982 from a very small town in Missouri and though I was what you'd call a go-getter, and very active, I was very introverted and though not too shy, and my time at Northwest helped build a foundation uh, already supported by my wonderfully involved parents and by teachers who taught me well before arriving here. And also, as I said, the friends I met here made all the difference and were a huge influence on me. So I suppose my first bit of advice to you would be to say thank you. Say thank you to the people that have helped you in this achievement today. Start with those that are here right now, looking on, bursting with pride. Others that deserve your thanks may not be realized until much later in your life. Just try to remember to say thank you to them and when the time comes. Don't wait, it really does matter. During the end of my junior and into my senior year at Northwest, I had my first choral complications published. After I received my degree in music education, I had to decide if I wanted to find a full-time teaching job and have a steady paycheck or set out trying something that had no monetary security at all. I mean zilch, no guarantees, no safety net other than my education. So getting published in college certainly encouraged me and lessened the fear of considering other musical avenues. And ignorance is certainly bliss. So I had a couple of contacts in Indianapolis where I have lived ever since, and I headed off in my 78 Dodge Aspen, lived in a disgusting motel for a couple of weeks while I found a part-time job, a dumpy apartment, that was a step up, and pursued work as a studio musician in a very competitive and busy recording industry. Again, ignorance is bliss. I said yes to just about anything that was music oriented and would pay something. Actually, I did do a bit of work for free. You had to, just to get your foot in the door. So on one of my first uh, studio recording jobs, I walked in and I was given the chance to write a jingle. That's a commercial song you hear on commercials. I was asked to write a jingle for a doll that was coming out at Christmas. It was called Tugabos, and it was a doll where you tugged a bow and her dress changed. I was to write a song about that. It's exciting. <laughs> Whatever. I had no idea what I was doing, but when offered the gig and asked if I could do it, I said, why, yes, I can do that, and I did. No, it wasn't chosen as a jingle, though I do think it was rather nice. But I learned something right then. I did not want to write jingles, but I loved singing jingles, and I loved studio work. I got the bug. And saying yes made me discover that when you do that, it lets you know what you're good at and what you're not. And saying yes meant that soon I would be barking like a dog in a dog food commercial, and. I sing about heating and electrical companies, I sing about fertilizer, I sing about local car dealerships, and we all know how beautiful local car dealership jingles are, don't we? <laughs> They're awesome. 
And in addition to my part-time non-musical job, I taught piano and voice lessons, and I choreographed show choirs, and I sang and played in a band where I always had to wear a cowboy hat. This is not a cowboy hat kind of hat. <laughs> but I did it for a year, and I made no money, and I finally had to quit them. So I said yes, and I learned. I learned a lot. And all of the things I didn't want to really do allowed me to finally have the chance to do the things I never dreamed I'd ever get to do. So my next piece of advice to you would be to say yes. Take chances and take advantage of opportunities, especially now when you have the freedom to do so. Ignorance is indeed blissful and in your favor when you're young and starting out. As you get older and wiser, you start getting held back by what you know, by what you've learned, and by what others might say to you as you build your career and life. Go ahead, give it a try, take a chance, say yes. How you treat people is important. And Gospel Music Hall of Fame recipient Bill Gaither said to me once, be nice to the people you meet on your way up because you're gonna see them on your way down. If you're wise, you'll develop an outstanding and solid reputation. And that is built and cultivated by how you treat those with whom you meet, work, and know. And believe me, believe me, your reputation will precede you. My friend Ben Kahn, who has been a musical director on Broadway for the musical Wicked ever since that show started, um, and, uh, and, and other well-known musicals on Broadway. He's worked with many, many stars, and he told me that he never auditioned or interviewed for any of his jobs. It was and is his reputation that goes before him. Producers seek him out because of what others say about his work. I have found this to be very true in my own career. My advice, don't be a jerk. Be kind, be nice, even if the situation calls otherwise. Build your reputa reputation starting today. It will pay off in the future more than you can ever imagine. And a good reputation re requires some tools because it is not always easy to be nice. My tools came from the people I've worked with through, year through the years and some of them have been incredible mentors to me. Musicians, business owners, authors, just some really good human beings. One of my mentors who passed away about 10 years ago was a fine businesswoman, Lynn Sankstack. She was president of Shawnee Press, a large music publisher and the company for which I currently am director of educational choral publications. Her dad owned Sumi Burchard, which was a publisher who owned the song Happy Birthday. Can you imagine? He sold that to Warner Brothers and retired. Um, and he owned Happy Birthday. I, I can't imagine that. So I adored Lynn, and she was so wonderful in meetings. She was joyful and interested and kind of nerdy. I liked that about her. She loved jokes, and she wrote them down on small pieces of scrap paper and would have me tell them from time to time during meetings and social events. She'd give me a cue word and then I'd tell the joke, and she would laugh the loudest. One of the many things I learned from her was to write things down. She kept a big notepad and took notes constantly in meetings. And if she couldn't answer your question, she'd write it down and she'd say, I don't know the answer, but I'll find out and get back to you. And she always did. I miss her dearly. So there will be many mentors in your career and life and people that show you how it can be done and how life can be lived. Be aware of who they are. Seek them out, learn from them, and know that you are also mentoring, even when you're not aware of it. Because I'm a musician, I had to rely on a variety of jobs in the music industry, as you can tell but it helped me learn my craft. And I'm happy to say I've enjoyed the entire spectrum. From singing on holiday CDs that were only sold in truck stops, yes, truck stops. A CD only sold in truck stops. Did you, did you happen to find it? Did you see it? It was awesome. <laughs> to singing on CDs for Walt Disney. 
from performing at the local fair to singing at President Clinton's first White House family Christmas party. And that's a story, I'll tell you later, wow. From sleeping on speakers, they don't treat musicians well at the White House. From sleeping on speakers in the back of a truck to traveling on elaborate tour buses with well-known artists performing in front of thousands of people, from getting my first choral works published that I wrote in the practice rooms at the Fine Arts Building, to conducting on the stages of Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center and having my music sung and heard all over the world. I've tried to say thank you. I've said yes when fear would have me say no, learning what I was good at and what I was not, I've tried not to be a jerk, and I've certainly had some amazing mentors throughout my life, both in my career and personally. But I think the most important piece of advice I can give you today, I learned when performing with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra for over a decade, and I have used it as a career motto and my personal mantra. Are you ready? Play well with others. Hear me? Play well with others. I know that sounds like something on a grade card from elementary school, but it has served me well then, and it serves me well now. You see, with the symphony, I was performing with young talent from Broadway and opera from New York, New York Opera, and that, quite honestly, all of them could perform circles around me. They were younger, better looking, with full heads of hair, and just simply talented. Talented, oh my gosh. But I was doing some things well that they were not. First of all, I knew what my job was. I knew what I was supposed to be doing there. And I did it well. I came prepared, I showed up on time, I took direction, I didn't complain much. <laughs> and I was joyful in my work and with others. Year after year, I was asked back when some of those extremely talented, good-looking, head full of hair performers were not. Play well with others. I truly believe that is 50% of what will make you successful. I realize these career and personal highlights of mine are probably not at all similar to your goals and dreams, but whatever your goals and dreams are, know they will take time uh, they will take time to realize and accomplish. Advice, be patient, be flexible, be focused, don't be afraid of change, learn to adapt, and learn from every opportunity. So, when one appears to have had success in life, people want to know the secret. What is the secret? What is it? And then you're asked to give a commencement address <laughs> where you are expected to share the secret and give the checklist for success. I may again, again have disappointed here. However, I will say to you this. You must decide what success looks like. And this is going to change as you travel through your career in life. The bar will rise and lower Believe me, my definition of success has gone from just hoping I had money to pay for one dinner out a month to then being able to buy anything I wanted in a grocery store without coupons. <laughs> it went from trying to be published to having my music sung all over the world. Success was defined by hearing from an adult 10 years later that I made a difference in their life as a kid when I conducted them at an honor choir event. Success was defined for me as my parents sat in the audience and watched me conduct for the first time at Carnegie Hall. Success is when I receive a handwritten note from a child I've never met saying thank you because they sang something I wrote in their school choir and they thought it was cool. Success takes on a lot of shapes and sizes. You have to define it. And after today, it's going to be very complicated, messy. You're gonna make mistakes, and you're gonna make decisions, and then you're going to question your decisions, and you might even have a few regrets. As I said, life 
can get in the way of living. But remember, be authentic and let the world see who you are, who you truly are, and surround yourself with excellence. Surround yourself with excellence. And as you define your own meaning of success, remember to say yes to opportunity and say thank you. Find your mentors. Remember that you are a mentor to someone. Don't be a jerk and play well with others. And finally, when so much has been given to you with your success, take a moment to give something back. Congratulations, my friends. Take it all in because it all begins now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we talk about stars and performers, people that are put up on pedestals. If you do any research on Greg Gilpin, I think you'll realize how special of a person we have in our presence today. Greg, I'm very happy and pleased that when we called to offer you the, the chance to be our commencement speaker in winter of 2015, that you indeed said yes. And on behalf of Northwest Missouri State University, let's please tell Mr. Greg Gilpin, thank you. to introduce Northwest's Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Timothy Mote. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise? President Jasinski, these candidates on my recommendation and on the recommendation... <laughs> President Jasinski, these candidates on my recommendation, on the recommendation of the graduate faculty, the college deans, and the graduate dean are presented to you for conferral of master's degrees. Will the candidates please come forward? For the comfort of the graduates and viewing pleasure of our guest candidates, you may sit back down until your row is released. Dr. Gregory Haddock, Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate School, will place academic hoods on the shoulders of these graduates. Assisting with the names of our international students today is Dr. A.J. Bondi, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Information Systems. It's okay. Alan Petit. Cody Morse. Maggie Lynn Reynolds. Get it ready, so ready. Rashmita Surapanini Prajwala Gurram Lauren Rozier Stephanie Jo Jansen
Gitta Krista Maria Winfrey. <laughs> Natalie Gay. <laughs> Chief Warrant Officer 5, Jason D. Dials. Courtney Elizabeth Summer. Elizabeth Ann Dale Barman. Sindura Reddy Konda. Shruti Uppalapati. Vamsi Krishna Suredi. Sai Krishna Gunda. Vijay Reddy Dudipala. Deeraj Bajuri. Priyanka Alapati. Anurag Mucherla. Jaya Simha Reddy. Viraj Banala Karunaka Reddy Madhalapalli Anudip Reddy Ranganagari Vikram Reddy Oruganti Naveen Reddy Kumbam Srinath Jukanti Rakesh Chandra Bellam Konda Srikanth Akina <laughs> Gopichan Madhukuri <laughs> Prashant Gudimalla <laughs> Yashwant Kumar Siddhigam Vishwanath Reddy Solipeta Gautam Kumar Reddy Gauravaram Panindra Kumar Boggarapu Shiva Prasad Jalla Sai Samrat Malka Varra Vijay Pratap Reddy Avinash Grandi Anusha Reddy Kari Shirley Ruth Young Chibago V. 
వీణా రెడ్డి చింతపల్లి మైకెలీ రెడ్డి మీనా నల్లచర్ల హేనా మిషెల్ చర్చ్మన్ Gabrielle Alexandria Ray. <laughs> Jaron Dominique Robinson. Srinivas <laughs> Reddy Kisara. Sai Chaitanya Adepu. Sandeep Kumar Gopan Boyina. Nikhil Reddy Guram, Manikiran Chepur, Jeremy Wayne Bomley, Joe Joe, Sampad Allampalli, కార్తీక్ తేలుకుంట కిరణ్ కుమార్ మాధవరం రఘుచరణ్ మాశెట్టి గౌరవ్ రామ్మూర్తి చింతకిండి Anudeep Juluru Tarun Yadagiri Vamsi Krishna Muthukumalli Saumya Bontala Pavan Kumar Reddy Boppidi జై కృష్ణ ఓరుగంటి విజయ్ కుమార్ నాగబోయిన సందీప్ కరైంకొండ శ్రవణ్ కుమార్ కిలారు తరుణ్ కుమార్ రెడ్డి అమ్మనగంటి మణిపూజిత భీమరాజు ప్రీతి పతక్ పిసాటి నాగసాయి లక్ష్మి వందనం రవళి నూకా మన్మై యతాపు దాత్రి అనంతుని నికిత పేరుక మునిక భారతి కలవనందల సాయి జుగల్ నికేత్ అరకాల ప్రియాంక ఆకపాక తేజస్విని జన్ని చంద్రిక గడ్డి గడ్డిపాటి
వర్షా ముప్పలనేని శాంతి సిన్హా ఇరుకల పాటి రోహిత్ వేములపల్లి తేజప్రియ శ్యామల సంతోషి జయని సింధు కలిదిండి ప్రణుతి వల్లం అభినవ్ కూతాడి వరుణ్ కుమార్ రెడ్డి గున్నా ఉదయ్ కిరణ్ నిమ్మతి సూర్యతేజ రాయిని శివ తక్కెళ్లపాటి ఫణి బాలాజీ రోహిత్ దేవగుప్తపు హేమా కేతినేని సత్యసందీప్ కొప్పర్తి గౌతమ్ ఆకుతోట మహావీర్ సాతూర్ శ్రీభాను గోగినేని శ్రావణి చెన్నుపాటి రాఘవేంద్ర రెడ్డి లంకల రవికాంత్ తాడూరి దిలీప్ కుమార్ మెతుకు అంకిత్ నూకల ప్రభాత్ రేపాక ఉద్భవ్ అల్లం శరత్ బాబు టోటెంపూడి వెంకటేష్ కన్నెదార మురళి వెంకట్ ఆళ్ళ చంద్రశేఖర్ రాపర్తి భానుప్రసాద్ రెడ్డి వెంకటేష్ బాషెట్టి రవ్య రంగినేని అశ్విని శిరసాని నాగఫణిలత యార్లగడ్డ మానస మల్లంపాటి మౌనికా పూర్మ బబిత నిహారిక రవి దుర్గాలక్ష్మి నూకినీడి ఐశ్వర్య ఓల్వాడాస్ వర్షాశ్రీ బుజ్జిని గౌరవ్ రాయ్ అభినవ్ నాయుడు శనక్కాయల గోపీకృష్ణ తాటి
ಲೋಕೇಶ್ ಅಡುಸುಮಿಲ್ಲಿ ಅಮರ್ಕಾಂತ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಗುಮ್ಮಕೊಂಡ ಚಂದ್ರಲೇಖಾ ಕಾಟಮನೇನಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಿ ಪಡಮಟಿ ಸುಕೃತಿ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸಂಗಣ್ಣಗಾರಿ ಸುಪ್ರಜಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಪಚ್ಚಿಕ ಜಾನಕಿದೇವಿ ಕಂದುಕೂರಿ ಶ್ರಾವ್ಯ ಸಾಮವೇದಂ ಅಂಜನಿ ಗೊಂಗಿಡಿ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಗುಜ್ಜ ವಂಶೀಧರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವಜ್ಜ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಪರಾಸ್ ಅಹಮದ್ ಸೌರಭ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಹರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಮೆರ್ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಕೀರ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಅಡ್ಲ ಮಧುಲಿಕಾ ಆಡುದೊಟ್ಲ ಉದಯ್ ಕಾಜ ಕರ್ಕ್ ಸ್ಕೋಗ್ಲನ್ ಟೈಲರ್ ಆಂಥನಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ಟ್ Caitlin Brianna Hartman. Heidi Lee Stallman. Alyssa Slater. Michelle Lynn Norberg. ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಕುಮ್ಮರಿ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಯಿ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಕಾಸವಜ್ಜುಲ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಕೋಟ ನರೇಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ನಾಗುಲವಂಚ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಕಿರಣ್ ಯರಮಟಿ ರಾಮದಾಸು ಪುನ್ನಟಿ ಆಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಲಿ ಬ್ರೂನರ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ಲೀಡರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮೇರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸಾಯಿರಾಮ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ವನಮಾಲಾ ತೇಜೇಶ್ ರಾಮಿಸೆಟ್ಟಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಗೌತಮಿ ಮುರಾರಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಗೊಂಡೇಲ ಸುಶಾಂತ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಪಬ್ಬತಿ ಓಮ್ನಿ ಮಂಡ ಹಾರಿಕಾ ಕಾಸುಲ ರಾಕೇಶ್ ಬೇತು ರಿತೇಶ್ ಬೆಜ್ಜಾರಪು ಜಯಭರತ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಅಕ್ಕೆನಪಲ್ಲಿ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ಪೂರೆಳ್ಳ 
नवीन कुमार दंगर सुजीत कुमार गडमिडी पवन कुमार ईमनी पद्मजा उन्नम मौनिका लिखी श्राव्या वेलीवेला जाह्नवी गंठा जितेंद्र बार्गव एपूरी तरुण गंगी असलेशा कंचरला ध्रुव कुमार वेमुला शरद कुमार वरकाला रिनुषा जंपाना वेंकटेश नलन चक्रवर्ती चैतन्य तुम्मा सूर्यतेज रेड्डी कोता रतन स्वरूप पोटी पुनीत गुंडू शिवा दग्गुपाटी महेश कोलसानी मोनिका रेड्डी अनुगु हिमजा मंडली कार्तिक नंदिना नवीन कुमार रेड्डी कंकनाला शेल्बी लॉरेन कॉकरन Desiree Alora. <laughs> Brienne Desiree Alora Wallison. <laughs> Will the candidates for master's degree please stand? By the authority vested in me by the State of Missouri and our Board of Regents, I confer upon you, subject to completion of all requirements as certified by our registrar, the master's degree, and admit you to the fellowship of educated men and women with all its rights, honors, privileges, and obligations. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me congratulate these new graduates as they move their tassels.
Will the candidates for specialists in education degrees please rise? President Jasinski, these candidates on my recommendation, on the, on the recommendation of the graduate faculty, the college deans, and the graduate dean are presented to you for conferral of specialist in education degrees. Will the candidates please come forward? Dean Haddock will place academic hoods on the shoulders of these graduates. Amber Marie Kaler. Eric M. Mitchell. Nicholas Heath White. I'd like to confer the specialist degree candidates, making sure that they hold their diplomas here. Uh, <laughs> By the authority vested in me by the State of Missouri and our Board of Regents, I confer upon you, subject to completion of all requirements as certified by our registrar, the specialist in education degree, and admits you to the fellowship of educated men and women with all its rights, honors, privileges, and obligations. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me congratulate these new graduates as they move their tasks. Ladies and gentlemen, we're near closure here. Bob Mahoski is the Director of Alumni Relations and Annual Giving and also a Spring 2015 graduate of Northwest Missouri State University. We'd like you to give Bob a big Bearcat welcome as he brings greetings to you, our newest alumni, on behalf of your Northwest Alumni Association. Bob, welcome. Northwest graduates, congratulations. Again, my name is Bob Mahusky, and I'm the Director of Alumni Relations and a proud alum of Northwest Missouri State University. On behalf of the Northwest Alumni Association, welcome to our family. We are over 50,000 strong, each sharing the common bond of calling Northwest Missouri State University our alma mater. I'd like to ask all the alumni in the audience to please stand and be recognized by these newest members of our family. <laughs> Graduates, starting today, you are now part of a family that can support you, can grow with you, and connect you to amazing opportunities as you move forward. However, you may be wondering how, as a Bearcat, you move forward after graduation. Here are a few suggestions. Promote Northwest by wearing Northwest gear or by displaying the Northwest alumni decal that you will get upon after graduation. Mentor Bearcats. There are so many wonderful things that you can do to inform a current student on future jobs and how they can progress their careers as they move forward. Connect with Northwest by attending alumni events. There are over 20 alumni chapters throughout the world, and they do wonderful and amazing events to, stay, keep, to keep everyone connected. And once again, congratulations on a job well done. And always remember, wherever you go or whatever you do, the Northwest Alumni Association will be here to keep you connected to the university. And of course, always remember, once a Bearcat, 
always a bear cat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a grand day. We have a commencement ceremony here ending momentarily. We have a commencement cer ceremony at 1 o'clock. Please celebrate. We've got some activities going on tomorrow in Kansas City and a commencement following a, a victory celebration as well. Please allow me to take a moment. Yeah, you can clap around that. That's okay. Yeah. Grand weekend. Please allow me to take a moment to thank our color guard, our musicians, faculty marshals, banner carrier, our MC, Dr. Matt Walker, our commencement coordinator, Gina Bradley, and her team for their participation in making this a very, very special ceremony for you today. Graduates, you have turned your tassels and received your diplomas. You are now proud Northwest Missouri State University alumni, members of our green and white family, which is more than 70,000 members strong. You are part of a cherished and unbelievably supportive Bearcat network that celebrates Northwest's long tradition of excellence. Please use your network, stay connected. Stay in touch, let us know how you're doing, reach out to fellow Bearcats. Your diploma is testament to your decision to live and work as an educated person. You heard from our commencement ceremony speaker, Dr. Mr. Greg Gilpin, I'm giving you a doctoral degree too, Greg. Uh, you, you heard uh, Greg say, <laughs> you, you heard Greg suggest, you know, to say yes to be active, to be involved, to be a nice person, I think, is one way to say it, too. Yeah. But play well in the sandbox. And we thank Greg for all that he's done, all that he'll continue to do. Please thank Greg Gilpin. <laughs> On behalf of my wife, Denise, along with all of us at Northwest Missouri State, let me say how proud we are of each and every one of you as Bearcats. Go forth. Make Northwest proud as you contribute to the societal good. Go lead the Bearcat way. Congratulations. Graduates, if you would please return your gown within one hour to the studio theater following the recessional. Congratulations to our graduates, and thank you guests for your attendance today. Now, if you would, please rise and join us in the singing of the Northwest Alma Mater. Oh, that's